Yo, yo! What up, hype man? It's your boy Swirl1090 back on the channel again today for you guys. Uh, with some more of that Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now, I haven't been on here in about a week or so. Um, during the week, it's really hard for me to get on there, but it is what it is. We still gonna ride and die and grind. So, with that being said, guys, um, we got a different setup for our stream. We're gonna try it out, see, you know, see how it does. You know, like if anybody jumps on or whatever, you know, we'll see how it works and stuff like that. But we're gonna try to make, um, we're gonna try to make um, our streams a little bit better, a little bit more interactive and stuff like that. So, you know, we're just gonna, you know, like over time, we're going to just try to make it better, try to make it more suitable, you know, try to make it to where um, y'all enjoy it a little bit more. Um, so, um, So, um, with that being said, guys, we're going to jump into it. Last time we was on here, uh, we was doing that Piccolo What If, and it really drove me insane, so I just cut off the stream. We're going to try to do that again. We're going to try. I, I think I found out a way to beat it, but we're going to try it out and see, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, with that being said, guys, let's jump into it. Dragon Ball, I have prolonged this intro a little bit longer, you know, talking about you know me trying to make the stream a little bit better and stuff like that. But with that being said, guys, we're going to jump into it. Dragon Ball Spark Zero. Let's ride. Oh. All right, so this is the new setup, kind of, you know. Um, we're going to tweak it up a little bit, you know, like in the weeks to come or whatever until I perfected it. Um, you know, we're just going to try to see what happens whenever um we go through this but anyway with that being said guys uh let's go ahead and jump back to here okay so let's try this out again we're going we're going to do it until we beat it gosh dang it just so happens huh now i will have vengeance in the name of all the dimensions you slaughtered take this you scum should consider this in honor. You will be the first ones to ever lay eyes upon me in this next day. Prepare yourself and behold! What do you think was it worth the wait? Now, if you're ready, let's begin round two, shall we? Dodge this! Why you? I don't know if it's gonna hit him because he's on the ground. Let's do this. Now we'll see. It's over. I think I got him. I think I got him. Oh! Let's freaking go! I have to admit, Thank you, are you putting on a much better showing than oh. I'm giving you credit for. An hour's worth, plus the 45 minutes the last time. Oh my God! Thank you. Uh. Facing harsher resistance from Piccolo than expected, Frieza undergoes another transformation. Dende heals Piccolo, um, and he faces off of Frieza at full strength. Now I will show you a nightmare beyond the horrors of hell. 
It's got some terrifying power, but I'm not backing down. No way in hell. Take this. I think I'll toy with you a bit. Okay. There we go. The fact that you've actually caused me the tiniest bit of damage. I have to commend you. Truly. I'm barely able to put up a fight. Cuckoo, where are you? Dang it. I'll be there right with you, Freezer. You want to go? I'll go too. to survive in the vacuum of space. But can you? I do not. Now perish along with this planet! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> you forget, I have excellent hearing. Take that! Yep, I died. Okay, so... Do I have to beat him or do I have to survive? Reduce his health. Okay. Now I will show you a nightmare beyond the horrors of hell. It's got some terrifying power, but I'm not backing down. No way in hell. Dang it. Okay. All right. So, this is going to be hard. Now I will show you a nightmare beyond the horrors of hell. It's got some terrifying power, but I'm not backing down. No way in hell. I was blocking, bro. Now I will show you a nightmare beyond the horrors of hell. He's got some terrifying power, but I'm not backing down. No way in hell. The fact that you've actually caused me the tiniest bit of damage. I have to commend you, truly. I'm barely able to put up a fight. Cuckoo, where are you? I think I'll toy with you a bit. Freaking A, man. It's time for sudden death. Why don't we finish? How naive. Ah. You should be proud as the last remaining Namekian to oppose me. But in a few moments, you will join the rest of your kin. Let's freaking go. Woo. That was a lot easier than the other one, though. Daggum. And I think my stick, and I think I'm starting to get better at, you know, the whole shebang shebang or whatever, too, so. As Piccolo struggles to defeat Frieza, Goku finally appears, fully healed, and takes up the fight. With Krillin's death at Frieza's hands, Goku awakens as a Super Saiyan. Goku tells Piccolo to look after Gohan. After leaving the location, they quickly return to Earth with the power of the Dragon Balls. There, they learn that Goku managed to defeat Frieza. Goku's energy was at a level I've never felt before. I should have been able to do better in that last battle. Dang it, I didn't get to read that last one. Uh, faced with the prospect of further threats in the future, Piccolo decides to continue his training.
The mysterious youth trunks a visitor from the future. He tells a pair he tells of a pair of androids who will appear in three years' time that would kill Piccolo and the others. In order to avoid that terrible future, Piccolo, Goku, and Gohan all begin training even harder. And then, three years later, just as Trunks warned, the androids appear in the city. So these are the fearsome androids, huh? Not quite the monsters I'd imagined. Piccolo and the others step up to prevent the destruction of the city while Goku faces off with Android 19. <gasps> Go on, you see it too, right? Yeah, right. It seems his technique is rushed for some reason. Fights just started and Goku's wasting most of his power. That and his technique is sloppy. All right, so what should I do? Should I help out Goku or continue to observe the battle? Let's... I don't remember what he does in the cannon. I don't know if I don't remember if he helps out Goku or let's just continue to observe and let's see what that does. He's usually not this sloppy. If he was fighting at his full capability, this android would already be a pile of scrap. As the fight continues, the heart virus takes a hold of Goku and Goku is greatly impacted. Piccolo and the others attempt to save Goku, but Android 20 stands in their way. The crisis is averted by an unlikely, unlikely savior, Vegeta. Vegeta uses overwhelming strength to smash Android 19 to pieces. However, Android 20 manages to get away. I think I should have helped Goku. And then, as they search for him, Android 20 manages to get the jump on Piccolo. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. Yes. Crap. You're almost completely sapped of power. In a few more seconds, you'll be dead. What? There's no way he could have found us so quickly. Vegeta, back off. He's mine. All right, Android 20, here we go. Don't interfere, he says. <laughs> Excellent. Bam. He's handing me another opportunity to absorb his strength. And the second I do... What are you whimpering about over there, huh? Prepare yourself! God damn it! I'll let you keep falling that way. And that way I do this. No, sir. Mm. Hey, watch out now. Start to get used to all the counters and stuff until that happens. Let's do this. Now we'll see. Let's go. Let's go. No need for the special beam cannon. I do believe there's another branch off somewhere in here, though.
Piccolo proves himself stronger than Android 20, but the Android finds an opening to escape. Uh, it then comes to light that Android 20 is actually Dr. Jero, the Red Ribbon Army scientist. Uh, having escaped, Dr. Jero awakens Android 17 and the others. Piccolo and the others are powerless in the face of this new threat. The androids lose interest in Piccolo and go looking for Goku. Hold up. Before I go any further... Before I go any further, is there a branching off here? Is there a branching off here? Well, not here, but let's see. Tenacious androids. Yep, there's a branching off right here. So. Okay, so let's go back to this. Let's not waste any time. The what if is if I go help Goku. Huh? So now let's go help out Goku. That's it. I'm stepping in. Mr. Piccolo? <laughs> Piccolo! That's enough! Fall back, Goku! This enemy's mine! Seeing the pallor of Goku's face, Piccolo senses that something is wrong. He forces his way into the battle, removing Goku from the fight. He takes Android 19 on himself. Don't believe me? That's definitely not the original about to show you. voice of Android 20. And hold on. Wow, wait a minute. Take this. Okay. Um, yeah, he's a lot stronger than Okay. Do you actually think you can defeat us? Don't believe me? The results of my last three years of training are about to show you. Do not bother, it is futile. Don't you mock me! What I'm talking about. Yes, freaking sir, let's go. Let's freaking go, baby. Wish I could do special beam cannon right now. Bow. Stand aside. I'll trash these worthless puppets. Vegeta. Android 20 got away. Hey, Goku, what's your condition? Seems like the heart virus hasn't kicked in as we were expecting. Yeah, but... I can feel it setting in for sure. It was stupid of you not to bring the medicine in case this happened. At the very least, you should rest yourself. I'll swing by your place to pick up that medicine. In the meantime, why don't you head for Master Roshi's place and take it easy, okay, Goku?
Thanks, Yamcha. And sorry for all the trouble. We'll keep up the pursuit of Android 20. Android 20 drains Piccolo's energy, threatening his life, <clears throat> but he's saved by the arrival of Gohan. However, the other androids in Dr. Rose's laboratory, um, lab, yeah, well, laboratory. Like, as much as I hate following Giro's orders, the idea of us standing around here doing nothing all day is driving me up the wall. The androids declare their intentions to hunt down Goku. Piccolo appears before them in order to put an end to their plans. I'll handle this. Come on. Just so you know, I won't be holding back. They're strong, but I can take them. If I had to choose between going into battle alongside the Namekian, the Earthlings, or Kakarot, I'd fight and die alone before accepting help from them. Beautiful speech. You know what? I would have gotten bored just watching anyway. So I'll jump in and we'll have a nice little two-on-two. -two. Have it your way. All right, looks like I'm fighting you. I better watch myself. Take this. Okay. All right, well, okay, well, this is like this is stupid. Like, she dodges every freaking thing. Let's do this. Now. Huh? Better than I thought. Androids. You show no sign of exhaustion at all. Wow, bro. God, that was awful. Mr. Piccolo, let me fight alongside you. I guarantee that's gonna be one of the ones I have to defeat quickly. I guarantee it. Piccolo struggles against the androids, but with Gohan's intervention, things turn back in his favor. Witnessing Gohan in action, Piccolo sees the fruits of his labor from the three from their three years of training. After the androids are driven off, Piccolo merges with Kami in order to become even stronger. He also learns of the emergence of Cell, but trusting in the further potential of Gohan, he he chooses to observe rather than engage with the monster. Gohan's hidden potential is starting to come to the surface. If we combine our strength, we'd be a force to be reckoned with. Defeat the androids. That was the rest of Piccolo's thought. He heads to Goku to explain the situation. The virus is getting worse, isn't it? Yeah, but I can only take the medicine once it's completely infected me. Till I beat this thing, I'm not going to be all that useful in combat. They're way stronger than we thought. Three years training wasn't enough, so the only way we're going to stand a chance now... Is to train some more. Piccolo, I had wanted to train with Gohan in the 
hyperbolic time chamber, but would you go and train with him in my place? He has so much potential. I know you could bring out his latent power. But, but Dad, you're sure I have a power like that within me? Go on. Listen to me. I know you do. And I know you can feel it. You've already gotten so strong with your training as it is. Think of how much further you could go. <laughs> the hyperbolic time chamber, huh? All right, sounds like a good plan. But this training won't be exclusively for Gohan's benefit. I want to make sure that I too can keep holding my own in this battle. Mr. Piccolo, that sounds great. I'll work really hard. Piccolo and Gohan decide to use the hyperbolic time chamber, but Vegeta and Trunks say they will enter first, forcing them to wait. However, during that time, the androids arrive at Kami House, and Piccolo winds up having to fight Android 17. <laughs> 17 and 18! I found you at last! Then Cell suddenly appears, seizing an opening to absorb 17. Um, he then achieves his second form. Ready to be absorbed. <laughs> <laughs> what you're going down? Take this! Absorbing that hand. So made him stronger. Go on. We need to buy some more time. Okay. Understood. <laughs> The power. Good, you're fighting back a lot more impressively than I expected. You're actually making me question if I might want to retreat or not. Damn. I don't know how much longer we can last. Wait. This energy. Be gone! Hell zone grenade! Take a look! Gohan! I'll fight too! Y'all didn't hear anything I was just saying because I had my mic muted because I'm an idiot. But anyway, that was pretty good. I gotta stop doing that. Goku turns Super Saiyan and fights Cell to a standstill, buying time for Android 18 to get away. Put, but, but pushing himself too hard finally causes Goku's heart free virus to flare up. Just before losing consciousness, Goku asks Piccolo to take care of Gohan, which renews his friend's resolve. At the same time, Vegeta and Trunks finish their training, leaving Piccolo and Gohan to enter the hyperbolic time chamber. My body feels heavy! And it's so hot, I can barely breathe. We have to be in here for a whole year? We have all the food and drink we need. It's the perfect environment to focus on training. So what kind of training are we going to be doing? More than anything, we need you to be able to become a Super Saiyan like your father. Then you need to go further beyond even that. But first, I'll be focusing on sharpening the parts of your skill set that are still a bit rough around the edges. Got it? Where should we start? Okay, I'm starting to realize that Piccolo's got 1700 what if scenarios, and I'm here for it if they're not as hard as the Frieza one. I know there's going to be a couple of them that I have to defeat quickly, so we're going to see how that works, but yeah. Anyway, so let's train his. Let's train his mind first. You have latent power that surpasses even Goku's strength. But you need to control your emotions so you can wield that power. 
In this fight, I'm gonna push you to your limit. You need to keep yourself grounded and maintain your anger. Now come on! Control my emotions. Okay, I'll give it a try. I get that you don't have a passion for fighting, and that's all well and good. But your pacifism won't mean squat if the world gets destroyed. Now come on. Contain your anger, your fear, your anxiety. Then let them all explode. I'll try my best. Did I not go full? Did he just... That was dope. Hope you're at peace. Be gone. Shot's got about that special beam cannon, though. Don't What's false sense, courage? Or it might be your last. Oh, my, def my defense. Did I... I don't know if I... I think I... I guess I beat him. Keeping my mind at peace is tougher than I expected. Keep working on it. Don't forget that feeling.